Yo, it's a girl intro, don't watch my face, I'm in the middle of my dissertation, we've got a quick video today just talking about how to export a video from Blender with a transparent background and put it on top of a video in your chosen editing software, whatever that might be. If you're watching this video to figure out how to make a transparent video, you're going to be disappointed because yeah, transparent background codecs exist, but they're very incompatible, at least that's what I've found. So there's two ways to do this, there's the lazy way and then the proper way and you can choose which one you want to use depending on how you feel so i don't want to long this video out like i have been doing recently uh so let's let's do this as quickly as we possibly can so you might remember this render from one of my early videos with goose sick video definitely check that out so say for instance i want to render this video and without the background and i want to put it on top of another video so first what I'm going to do is uh, make sure nothing's behind it. I'm just going to get that out of the way. Then go to render properties, go down to the port in bottom film and tick transparent. So now if you hit F12, you're going to get a transparent image rendered. Cool. So you can do this in cycles or EV. I'm just going to stick to EV just for the purposes of this demonstration. Go to output properties and change your file location to wherever i'm just going to change it to desktop because i am messy i don't sort out my folders create a folder in your directory and just call it uh chicken long cool and in there this is where you're going to save all your frames from your animation right so we go into the encoding property and we change fmpeg video to PNG and we want to make sure that RGBA is selected because that will keep the alpha channel make sure that your RGB your PNGs are transparent and then we hit F12 again but this time if you go to that directory you'll see that it's rendering where is it oh that was quick yeah it's rendering each file as a separate PNG image I've got 90 frames in my timeline and I've got 90 frames in my whatever whatever go back to premiere and we import all our image sequence here it is and then hit Control a import all of those this is the way you can bring a transparent video on top because now it's just bringing all your PNG images together what I like to do is I like to drag all of those images I like to go to speed duration, drag that all the way to the side, so that's one frame per second, click ripple edit, okay, and then I scroll in, and then I select them again, and I click nest. So now this is one video, video, and you have your transparent bundle. This is just the way I do it. There are ways you can have transparent video codecs, but they aren't very reliable, they aren't very compatible, and if you are doing a very high quality render in cycles or whatever, probably want to take more time in refining and making sure that every frame is rendered as it was meant to be instead of rendering a transparent video. That's just my thoughts. Comment if you know any other ways of doing this. Again, all of this can be done in Blender in the video editor if you're looking for a free alternative to Premiere. I hope this has answered the question that many people have been asking. I've just taken a long time to get round to it. And yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. Mwah.